All right, so we already set up our Active Directory domain services. We set up the OU structure, at least for now. And uh, we're ready to start setting up some users and groups. If you haven't noticed, I got this scratch on my nose. Yeah, I, I got into a fight with a bag of dog food. So moving on. So within Server Manager, let's go ahead and go to Tools in the upper right, Active Directory Users and Computers. And I already created the OU, so I created one more extra OU um, right before this video. And I just called it groups-security because I'm thinking in the future, I'm gonna have a groups-distribution for uh, if the company grows huge, you know, it'd be nice to separate those and it's a little bit more uh, manageable. So groups-security, um, I have a list of groups I already want to, want to set up. I'm not going to make you guys watch me type it all out. I will zoom through it real quick, but I will talk about the first one um, just to show you how to create a group. We're going to right click the OU, we're going to click on new and group. Now here, we're just going to name this one. For example, this one's going to be IS help desk. These users are going to be responsible for uh, resetting AD passwords, and then they'll have a little bit more privileges than the average user. Um, but uh, they're not going to be joining computers to the domain, and they're not going to be doing, you know, some some high level stuff. So, IS help desk. We'll leave the rest default global security, and then hit OK. And then I'm just going to go through the rest like this right now. Okay, so I've created a IS help desk, IS systems administrator, IS techs, and then sales, sales managers, and then service managers and service techs. When I tried to name service, the group service, um, it complained because there's already a default one of that. So I just named it service techs. They're going to be the people out there um, replacing the tires and everything. There's two more groups I want to create, and then we'll do some nesting of groups. Basically, I'll show you and then it'll make sense. So I'm going to right click and go new group. I'm going to call this one managers because overall there's going to be um, a group of managers at this business. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, who's a member of managers? We don't want to put individual users. We want to try to stay away from that. We want to, um, we want to put other groups as members of this group. So for example, managers, we're going to have sales managers and service managers in there. So there's a couple ways you can go into this individual one here and go member of, and then you can add it there. I don't want to do that. I want to just go straight to the managers group and say, who's the members of the managers group? I'm going to add the other two management ones. So if I search for service, oops, I can't read it from here. Service managers. Okay. It added the group service managers to this group. And then we'll do the same thing with sales, sales managers. And there we go, we got service and sales managers. So whoever's a member of these inside of here, which right now we don't have any, will also be a member of the service managers as well as the management or managers. Maybe we should call that management. I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename that to management. Management. Yep. So there's gonna be one more group we wanna make and it's called the Community Tire Rescue Committee. It's kind of a tongue twister, but it doesn't really make any sense. But anyways, I just want to add a few users to this committee. Maybe they go out and they rescue old tires from rivers or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead. And you just saw I just right clicked in the empty area here instead of right clicking on there. So right click new group and call this the community tire rescue committee. Yeah, that's awesome. So we'll just add a couple people to that. So anyways, there's my security groups as of now. And as time goes on, we build up stuff. We're gonna be making different groups, maybe printer groups, maybe uh, software groups. We don't know yet, but uh, we'll get there. So let's get on with adding some users. And then what we'll do is um, I wanna add one user per department, and then we can copy the rest of the users. It just makes life a lot easier. So for our IT, because we always start with IT, because we are the coolest, right? So for users, I'm going to add myself. Now for me, this one time thing, I'm just going to copy the default administrator account because it has all the proper permissions for the domain wide administration. So right click that copy. I'm going to call myself Chris Davis and cdavis.admin because I'm going to create two, two accounts for me. I'm going to have a domain account, just a standard one like all the other users, and then a domain admin account. Uh, where I'm elevated and I can actually do administration type stuff. 
because I don't want to log. I never log into my computers with my domain admin account. That's a big no-no these days. So I will say next and my password. Hopefully that's strong enough these days. Uh, password never expires. We'll just leave that alone. Next, full or finish. All right, so I'm gonna move that out of there right away. I'm gonna say, let's move this. I'm just gonna hit this checkbox. It's just, it's just warning you, hey, you sure you wanna move this? I'm just gonna hit yes. All right, so I have that account in there. Now I'm gonna create my first basic account. And uh, this is gonna be my user account. So new user, same thing as before, Chris Davis. And this is just gonna be C Davis. Actually, you know what I need to do too? I need to change something. Give me one second. I don't wanna change my password. Hit next, finish. See, it's already in use. I gotta do this now. So basically, I need to change this space dash admin. That way it tells me it's my admin account. So first name or full name is that, blah, 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 display name. I'm gonna go ahead and do admin there too. Hit okay. So now I should be able to create my new user. So I'm gonna hit new user, Chris Davis. My fingers are cold in this room. And then just C Davis. Next, oops. And I don't wanna force me to change my password. I'm setting my own account up. All right, so I got my standard user and my domain admin user. So for text, we need to come down here. Uh, we're gonna have two texts working for us. I'll just create the first one. And I'm gonna say new user. And this is going to be, who's this user? Joe Blow. Joe Blow, nothing special, J Blow. Next, and a password, whatever, and then we'll force that user to change that password, okay? Finish. So with this user already set up, I'm going to go ahead and um, add this user to the group that we want him to be a member of. So we double click him, click on member of. He's already a member of the domain users, which is proper. And then this one's going to be IS. And let's just say I don't remember what I named it. If you just type IS and hit OK, it'll bring up the um, optional uh, groups that we have set up. So Joe Blow is going to be actually a tech, IS techs. Hit OK. And that's all we need to do there. And now if we wanted to, let's have another, let's say we want another person just like this, right click it, copy, and this is gonna be Tasha Snow, T Snow. Next, password. Yes, we want them to change their password. Now if we look at Tasha Snow, member of IS Techs, um, for this example, I want Tasha to be IS help desk. So I'm gonna remove Tasha from that one. So it's kind of a bad example, I guess. And we're gonna add Tasha to the IS help desk. If I just start typing it, hit enter, it'll find it automatically. So I should probably do actually another OU. So I'm totally doing this wrong, but that's okay, because this is part of it. I wanna create a whole nother group policy object under IT. I wanna create an OU. And we're gonna say uh, IS help desk. See, it's morphing into other things. So under IS help desk, we wanna do computers. And then we wanna do users. And then we're gonna move Tasha because Tasha is actually an IS help desk user. So basically that's, that's all we're gonna be doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the rest of the users and assign them to the proper groups. Um, and then we'll get on with the next video.